try me, so I put them underneath me. Uh, I do not surrender, choose, kill me, now nah, free me. Moving through the night, we came to fight, don't make it easy, hold up. Got an army full of gladiators, monsters. Hairdressers, guys looking like some rosters. Honestly, there ain't enough power when you roster. You and your mob, we are just some flash mobsters. Turn up, we can turn this town out. This a revolution, pick a side. Really need me. Listen, I'm Christian Bell on these tracks. Denzel with these facts, huh? You can't even tip the scale with your act. I'm a bear, need a meal, and you barely a snack. I ain't seen nothing tougher than being black. It seems like y'all can't get enough with just being whack. The teens kill themselves if the world cut them some slack. The teachers taught them facts and their parents get off their backs, huh? Pam ever let cold hit from the back? Let me think though, life is just a freak show. The only way to thrive is to grow and need. The devil already know There's only about two ways this way Uh, we're here at Walsh Jesuit today before Wayne's. Guys are losing a little weight, getting ready to wrestle in one of the toughest tournaments in the U.S. Working with these guys going to the next level as far as movement, shooting off a reshot, stopping guys' first movement. Right here, attack me right away. This week I feel good. Got a good workout just now. Lost maybe a good pound, pound and a half. Yeah, I felt like he was kind of like, yeah, back in the way. Naturally, you got to be patient. So most of these guys are getting it, though. They're they're drilling hard. They came here ready to wrestle. Uh, really impressed how they warmed up right now. So I think they're ready to go and make some noise and put their school on the map. I was two pounds over last night, which means I floated about 2.8. I haven't done that in a long time. When I was cutting at 20s, I would only float about 0.8 ounces. Eight yeah, ounces I was under 0.4, which is about half a pound, uh, so it'll be perfect. Just weighed 145.6. It's the lightest I've weighed all year. That's 38.4. Good. So we just got done with groom check and weigh-ins. Everybody's made weight, so that's good. We're just kind of trying to get some energy, and right now we're gonna head out to Starbucks, get a little bit more liquid and food in. Really important to blow the lungs right now, get them going, and uh, be able to sweat everything out so they can put it right back in.
you know, it's not where I wanted to be, but it's the toughest tournament in the country. I mean, a lot of people can argue it, but it's the toughest tournament in the country. And second place is just it's a really good feeling because I've been here before and not placed at all. And that was, you know, last year, and it just shows the progress that I made. And I know what I got to work on now, so it was a good experience. So I took third place. Uh, I lost in the semifinals to the champion. I lost in overtime, you know, so I was a little bummed out, but I mean, toughest tournament in the country. Can't be sad about third place. We went to a, we went to a camp in Illinois. <laughs> that, was probably the, that was probably the funnest camp that we went to. It was kind of like we had like a practice like in the morning, and then we had a practice in the afternoon. So like that whole time, we had one like early in the morning, maybe like six or seven. And then another one in the afternoon, like five or six. So like that whole time in between, we had the whole day to like just do whatever. And we had a pretty nice hotel. And um, it was me, Julian, and um, Aaron Padilla. And we went to the store and we got like a bunch of stuff because we weren't cutting. We set rules in the in the hotel room where no one touched our stuff. And I remember Julian likes these. Uh, he likes these. He likes these sugar cookies. And he had these sugar cookies. I remember I was gonna go in the shower. And he's like, before I went in the shower, he said, "No one can touch these sugar cookies." Like, like they they weren't open either. He was like, "Don't touch these. Like these are mine. Like don't touch these." And I was like, "Okay." So I go in the I go in the shower and um, <laughs> I remember hearing him, "Who touched my cookies?" And I was like, "Oh man!" And like it's like open. And someone took a bite of one and put it back. And he's like, he's flipping out. Like I can hear him walking back and forth. And he's like, "Who ate my cookies?" Like I swear to God, like if I figure out who ate these cookies, like I'm gonna be so pissed. I was like screaming, and, like just like inappropriate like words. Just I was like so mad just because someone bit my cookie. I'm in the shower, and I remember I, I think Big Tina was in our room too. I remember doing busting in the bathroom, and I'm taking a shower, and I'm like, I'm like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, did you eat my cookies? I was like, you honestly think that I ate your cookies like from in the shower? You you think I went out there and ate them and ran back in the shower? And he's like, dude, I don't know. And he was he was so mad. I think we ended up falling asleep. Like it, it all kind of died down. We ended up falling asleep, and then there was a knock on our door, and I opened the door, and it was uh, it was Coach Sean. He was like, what's up? And we were like, and I was like, what's up? And then he's like, asking us, we're okay. And we were like, yeah, we're fine. And like, what was wrong? Did you hear that crazy lady? And, we, and I was like, that crazy lady? He was like, there was a crazy lady around here. Oh, who took my cookies? I swear, like if you, like if someone ate my cookies and I, and, and I, <laughs> it, it was so funny. And I remember hearing Julian get up and he was like, a crazy lady. And he was like, no, I, I don't remember that. And he was like, yeah, God, that was crazy, man. And he was like, she was crazy. I, I went to the front desk and complained, called like, the downstairs room to watch out for this this lady in the hotel. And we were like, oh really? And he was like, yeah. I almost thought I had to fight her or something. And we were like, oh yeah. So we, we shut the door and we turned around. We were busting out laughing so hard. But I remember we, we planned on waiting for the banquet to tell him this year.
here to win a cowboy hat this year. decided to drink more water than apparently I should have. Yeah, so I'm going to cut the weight for everyone on the team, basically. So, like two pounds from all the other semi-finalists, but I mean, last year, two and two, out first day. I think seven pounds is worth a Doc B hat. And, that's what I got to say. Let it get her going. Get ready to get some cowboy hats. When he pulls it, it's your shot. us in the finals now so that's great especially after last year because we had four people in the semis and none of us made it to the finals I'm pumped I'm really excited to get to the finals it's a really awesome atmosphere a really cool event especially when you get to the finals you know I feel great, man, coming and getting that win. You know, two in a row. Can't be any happier. Can't complain. Well, I'm, I'm stoked, you know. Toughest tournament on the West Coast. 
uh, get OW, I mean, that's a, that's a real statement. It's just showing that, you know, I've accomplished the, the goals that I set when I was a freshman, when I was a kid, you know. We have this game that we play called Ditchem. Uh, it's kind of like freeze tag kind of, you can say, or hide and go seek tag. And we play at night when it's pitch black around our house. And Xander, Silva, and Sebastian were on the same team. And they, and when the Wicks lived down the street from us, they decided to knock on the door at Ding Dong Ditchem. And I remember, because I was on the opposing team and I was supposed to find Sebastian and Xander, I, I ran and I, was, and I saw Bill and I thought to myself, what the hell, how did Sebastian get so big and change his clothes that fast? And I look and he starts taking off following me. And I, I swear that I ran and I almost crapped myself that I was so scared. I ran and I turned around and within like a couple seconds he was like breathing down my neck and I, I was gone. I was so terrified and later on that night they told the story of Sebastian was talking to Xander, he's like, dude, should I do it? Should I knock on the door? And Xander's like, no, don't do it, dude. Don't do it. They're probably, they're probably sleeping or something. And Sebastian ran, he knocked on the door. And the way that our houses are built is they're like rickety, so it thundered throughout the entire house. And by the time Sebastian had sprinted 25 yards down the street, Bill, Xander's dad, was already at the front door with his knee brace all sleeved up and his glasses on. He was standing at the front door looking around to see who, who had knocked on the door. And Xander and Sebastian were like, scared out of their minds and they dove into like some nearby house and like underneath some bushes and were, were like sitting there like holding each other shaking and crying and that's when they saw Bill like run out into the middle of the street and that's when he saw us and, that, and they were like talking to him thinking it was Xander and they're like dude get down get down and then they they saw Bill like kind of like stiffen up and he yelled he's like I saw him and he like took off running and that's when I was gone me and baby Tino and then I think the part that you can laugh at the most is Evan running out of the house barefoot and like with no shirt on. Dad, no! No, Dad, wait! And from that moment on, I think playing Ditchum was like, I don't know, terrifying. All right, attention wrestlers. We will be wrestling in about 15 minutes. Consistent quality practice, that's what it's all about. That's what you guys have done, you know? Put pressure on people, and like we talk, great position. You know, that's how you're gonna dominate with just discipline and position and pressure. If you need anything, let us know. Otherwise, you know, get your match, get ready, come back out, relax. Coach is gonna pray for us. I'm very happy for what we've been able to put together, Lord. And I want to know none of it's possible without you. Thank you so much. We ask these many blessings in your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, guys. One, two, three, Titans!
had uh, nine guys that showed up, and uh, unfortunately, we had three bad losses. Only eight people made it to day two. I feel like we're gonna do really well today. So the semis, you get a little nervous, but it's no no big deal. You got to do your best to win, man. Three of us, me, Evan, and Julian, are going for our fourth title this year. So we're taking it one at a time, trying to win it. The very end of the match, I mean, there were like two seconds left, so it was kind of like a, a dumb mistake on his part, but he ended up getting three false starts. Uh, I, was, I was really excited winning that match because it was my second defeat. I know that was, I kind of thought going into that match, if I could win this second match, that's kind of na the nail in the coffin. That way people can't say, oh, he got lucky against Luke Troy. You know, it, was, it was definitely exciting. Second period, I took him down and my nose started bleeding and they stopped it. We cleaned it up and plugged my nose. I took him down again and my nose was bleeding again. The blood time was starting to rack up. So we ended up taping around my face, this big old giant like tape wad over my ears and everything. It was so bad. And then there was like blood still coming out of the tape. 
the score ended up being 11 to five. You know, it was a good match. The kid's really tough, one of my good friends. One of the funniest stories, there's so many to pick from, but I think one of the funniest stories was uh, on our way back from the Cal State Bakersfield versus Penn State duel. Stopped at this place called Doors, it's an ice cream place, and uh, we got a ton of ice cream, and uh, it was actually one of the guy's first trips, like with the team, you know, nobody really knew him, his name's Mitch. We all just start sitting down, as me, Isaiah, Aaron, Evan, uh, Mitch and me, we're all sitting there and Z starts telling the story of one of the camps we went to uh, a few years back. The way he tells the story was just like so funny. He made me cry, he made Aaron cry, he made Mitch cry, he made Evan throw up, a throw up, you know. When someone throws up because they're laughing so hard, you know someone's done a really good job. This place is huge, you know, it's a big arena and it's, it's, you know, it's intimidating if it's your first time being there. It's so like exciting because they have it all set up where all the, all the mats in the front are kind of like, it's like first and second right here and then like third and fourth and fifth and sixth and then they have the ninth place match. The ninth place match is a match that if you win you go to state and if you don't then you're out. He won! That's all that matters, man. I think I'm more nervous than he is. <laughs> was kind of a thrower and I could feel that so I, uh, I did my best to stay in solid position and uh, finish as quick as possible. I took him down a couple times, I turned him towards the end and I got a major. Well I went out there with kind of cold feet, you know, I wasn't moving around, I just stayed still and he was able to blast double me. He got it, I'll give him it, you know, it was a good solid takedown. But I came back, I took him down, I put him on his back and pinned him.
I just wanted to go out, get my ties, dominate in certain positions that I know that I'm good at. I'm excited to get a second Masters title and uh, hopefully I can get one next year as well, but this will give me uh, some good confidence going into next week. I teched and pinned everyone before him. And, you know, again, I was, I was pretty nervous for that match. To be honest, I kind of felt like he was going to be a little bit more offensive because I knew our first match, he definitely got into a lot of leg attacks. I don't know why he kind of, he was pretty defensive. I knew if I could get him off balance, I could get to my leg attacks. Just try to finish really quick, just because I know he's he's a scrambly guy. I'm stoked now. I got that win out of the way. I know now what to look for at the state finals. Got some good setups. I already know what I'm gonna work on, so.
finals this year he's ranked number one in the state. Then I win. I don't know what's going through my mind. Uh, it's a pretty awesome feeling. You know, it's uh, pretty stressful going through it, but you know, tonight they made it look easy, so I was happy for that. I feel blessed, you know? I mean, that's, that's been my dream ever since I was a kid. Yeah, so I think it was just a combination of their technique was, you know, getting better, getting more physical, mature, getting more confident because of all that. And obviously it showed that, you know, they pretty much dominated. It's been a tremendous, tremendous journey for this team over the last four years. We started with you know, just a few really dedicated and committed wrestlers. The team has grown over that time, and each of those wrestlers has, has really, you know, developed not only into an outstanding wrestler, but an outstanding young man as well. Keep working hard. Uh, keep believing, you know, setting your goals. It's obviously another level, but, you know, all those guys that go wrestle are capable wherever they wrestle. You know, Division One, Division Two, whatever it is, all capable of being great wrestlers. Yeah.